Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to explain a problem on how to find a total percentage of losses in pre-stress. In a post tension concrete beam of cross section 200 mm by 300 mm and span 6 meter, an initial pre-stressing force of 400 kN is applied at an eccentricity of 70 mm by tendons of area 400 mm square. Assume the following data that is ES equal to 210 into 10 power 5 Newton per mm square, EC 0.33 into 10 power 5 Newton per mm square, anchorage slip 1.5 mm, creep coefficient of concrete is 2. Shrinkage in concrete is 0 0.002. Creep in steel is 3%. Find the total percentage of losses. So whatever question they have given, information they have given, those data should be written first. So epsilon CS is nothing but it is a shrinkage in concrete that is 0 0.002 then phi stands for creep coefficient of concrete that is 2 delta is nothing but anchorage slip 1.5 mm eccentricity is e 70 mm and here you should be careful here they have not given a stress here directly they have mentioned about the force that is pre-stressing force is directly given we need not to calculate anything so uh, uh, pre-stressing force is 400 kilonewton es is nothing but Young's modulus of steel is 210 into 10 power 5 newton per mm square ec is Young's modulus of concrete 0.33 into 10 power 5 newton per mm square using these data we should start the calculation that is i equal to bd cube by 12 as they have given a rectangle section the moment of inertia for a rectangular section is bd cube by 12 so if we substitute b is 200 d is 300 by 12 we will get 450 into 10 power 6 mm power 4 area of the section is 200 mm by 300 mm it is 60 into 10 power 3 mm square p naught is initial stress that is calculated by using pre-stressing force by area of the tendon remember force is already given we know area of the tendon it is 400 mm square so if we use um, 400 kilo newton that is if we convert this it into newton we should take it as 400 into 10 power 3 by its area of the tendon it is 400 mm square is given as 1000 newton per mm square p naught is initial stress next we will start with the calculation the first calculation is loss due to elastic deformation of concrete as this is a post tension beam there is no elastic deformation but if they had given successively pre-stressed about the tendon that time elastic deformation would have been present but here they have not mentioned anything so it is understood that in post tension beam there is no loss at all the second loss is loss due to shrinkage we know how much is epsilon cs and es just substitute the value will get around uh, 40 newton per mm square here while substitution be careful it is 0 0.002 next third one is 
loss due to creep so loss due to creep formula is phi fc into alpha e we know how much is phi but fc is unknown uh, then alpha e should be calculated by using uh, mo modular first of all uh, alpha e is nothing but modular ratio that can be denoted by small m or alpha e so we can we should uh, find out how much is fc that is resultant stress as well as a modular ratio here you can see i have found out the resultant stress so in the resultant stress formula is fc equal to p by a plus pe by z the important thing you should remember here is z is nothing but i by y okay section modulus is nothing but i by y but instead of y we should consider or we should take y equal to e that is y will be equal to eccentricity so instead of z i by e value should be substituted here so f fc is 400 into 10 power 3 400 into 10 power 3 is nothing but initial or uh, pre uh, not initial pre stressing force we know it is directly given in the question itself that is 400 kilo newton convert that kilo newton to newton we, um, it is 400 into 10 power 3 next is a area of the cross section it is 60 into 10 power 3 plus p value into e but for z as i told it is i by y instead of y it should be i by e so i value have substituted here that e value will go to numerator so this is how we got 70 here so fc is 11.02 newton per mm square we have uh, found out how much is fc just go back to the formula and substitute it don't forget this phi value it is 2 into 11.02 into alpha e the formula is es by ec that is eng's modulus of the steel by eng's modulus of concrete we will get the modular ratio some uh, value will get that value into these two is 133.57 newton per mm square it is a loss due to creep next loss is due to relaxation of steel in question itself they have given how much is the relaxation of steel that is 3% according to the value they give in the question you should change this so keep this in mind so now here loss is 3% of initial pre stress so 3 by 100 into 1000 for this reason we had found out how much is a initial pre stress we will get loss of 30 newton per mm square the next loss is loss due to friction i have written a statement that there is no loss because it's a straight tendon please read the question once in the question they have not mentioned anything about um, uh, like um, eccentricity at the support some values there so, uh, at the center some values there eccentricity value they have not mentioned anything like that that is one kind of a hint for a straight tendons and has this is a straight tendon we can't uh, draw any uh, tangent uh, to a straight bars so uh, there is no chance for us to get a slope from the straight tendons so for a calculation of friction we require a slope value so uh, slope is ruled out here as this is a straight tendon uh, and also in this problem they have not given k value you should observe those things k value is not given 
mu value is also not given so it is indirectly understood that there is no loss due to friction so you should write a statement that no loss because it's a straight tendons next loss is loss due to anchorage slip we know the formula for anchorage slip has delta es by l delta value is given that is 1.5 into young's modulus of steel is 2 into 10 power 5 l is length of the span it is given in meter convert that it into mm so it is 6000 so loss is 50 newton per mm square at the end we should add all the losses that is from the first one to the sixth one whatever values we have got add all those losses we will get total loss has 253.57 newton per mm square this is in terms of stress if we want the loss in terms of percentage we can go for this that is loss in percentage equal to total loss by initial stress into 100 we know how much is the total loss so substitute 253.57 whole divided by initial stress we have calculated 1000 newton per mm square into 100 we will get it as 25.35 percent this is a loss in percentage this is loss in terms of stress so this is how we calculate losses in pre-stress hope you have understood thank you